So, you asked for it, and here it is. Today we're going to be looking at the PE Foam mod, a mod that rised in popularity alongside the Tempest Tape mod as the Jelly Epoch creator. And surely enough, the Jelly Epoch is the inspiration behind the mod. This unorthodox foam that goes on top of the PCB seems to contribute a lot to the marbly sound profile of the Jelly Epoch. So is it worth trying out? How does it compare to the Tape mod? How does it sound alongside the Tape mod? And how close can we get a board sounding to the actual Jelly Epoch? First again, let's very briefly go over how to perform the PE mod. This mod is not nearly as easy or quick as the Tape mod, but the trade-off may very well be worth it. We'll see in a bit. What we want to do is take our bare, unbuilt PCB and put a very thin sheet of PE foam on top. I've linked this in the description in case you don't have any on hand. Otherwise, make sure the foam you're using is non-conductive. You'll want to cut out some holes for the stabilizers and wires. Next, we're going to poke out holes for the large switch posts because we're going to be putting switches directly on top of this. Make sure the foam isn't sliding around while you're doing this. Next, we're going to put together the inner assembly as usual. So slot a few switches into the corners of your plate, attach the plate to the PCB, and fill in the rest of the switches. Be careful while doing this because the foam is going to make it a lot easier to bend your switch pins. So what does this do to keyboard sound? Well, results seem to vary a lot more than the tape mod. Boards can generally sound more poppy and creamy, which I think you'll understand once you hear it. And since it is foam, it can make certain configurations slightly quieter. As for pitch, I've heard switches being affected in both ways, either becoming higher pitched or lower pitched, which is quite strange. But I think I have an explanation to account for this. So I was slightly wrong in my explanation of the tape mod video as to how it works acoustically. I thought it was simply reflecting the inner assembly back upward, while the comments, along with AIO3, a sound engineer, and Tempest himself, collectively agreed that the tape acted as a low-pass filter, where higher frequencies somewhat permeated and lower frequencies were bounced back. So I thought I should reiterate in this video that my acoustic explanation is by no means a definitive or perfectly accurate scientific measurement. It's just what I believe is happening based on what I've heard from other people and my knowledge of keyboard mounting. Initially, I thought that the foam in between the PCB and switches sort of mutes the higher frequencies, allowing for the mid-level frequencies to be emphasized and resulting in an overall poppier sound. But I'd like to give a thanks to Stylish Rabbit for reporting that their portico with U4 Thox actually increased in pitch, because it threw this theory out of the window. In order to account for this, and after consulting with Shubsland member Ura, who generously allowed me to use data from their semi-scientific test, I now believe that the foam has an impact on both the lower and higher frequencies, creating more focus and emphasis on the mid frequencies. This is the most logical explanation for how it can make a switch higher pitched and another switch lower pitched. A lower pitched switch will have more lower frequencies, which will generally be focused upwards by the PE foam. And a higher pitched switch will have more higher frequencies, which will generally be focused downward by the PE foam. And of course, Mounting style would play a big part in this as well, affecting how the board handles the vibrations in the first place. In addition to this, there's another concept that might play a large part in the sound profile of the mod. The softness or flex of the PCB contributes a large part to how a board will sound, and this is the underlying notion behind the mounting style of a board and the flex of the plate. By putting a softer material such as foam on top of the PCB and under the switch, you are allowing a greater connection between the PCB and switch, and essentially increasing softness substantially on a smaller level, even considering that the foam is really thin. In the end, it impacts the entire audio frequency of your switch, and frankly, it's really hard to predict exactly what it's going to sound like before you actually perform the mod, even more so than the tape mod. So finally, let's have a listen to no mods, tape mod, tape and PE foam and PE foam alone to see how they can affect sound when paired together.
So I think it's safe to say that the PE foam mod does a lot more to keyboard sound than the tape mod does, because when I removed the tape mod, the sound didn't really change at all. PE foam made modes alphas sound quite a bit deeper, but the spacebar higher, which helped prove my theory on the acoustics of the mod, pushing everything towards the center. Alpine took on the creamy sound profile that the mod is known for doing, and I presume if you're going to be doing this mod on budget boards, it might sound close to what Alpine did. And comparing the Jelly Epoch to the Alpine, the sound really isn't too far off. On the microphone, it's almost identical. Overall, I think these two mods combined are a great way to improve the sound of beginner boards. I would use the PE Foam mod a lot more conservatively than the tape mod, because it starts to make boards sound very similar. But of course, if you feel like your keyboard needs a little boost in sound quality, I would strongly consider PE Foam and tape modding. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching this episode of Near Lucid. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up. If you have feedback or questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd be more than happy to answer. Also, these videos take lots of work, and by subscribing, you're letting us know that you want us to keep making them. And if you find my voice annoying, you can always unsubscribe. That's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.